So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Falcon Eyes F7 Fold. Now, I did a review on the Falcon Eyes F7 a couple of weeks back, and somebody on YouTube told me that there is a new version of that light. So I had to go ahead and get it. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this light right now and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. As you all know, I am actually trying to build my lighting setups now. Now that I have two good cameras, I'm gonna start building my lights and then hopefully build my audio uh, equipment. So let's go ahead and unbox this. This is the F7 Fold RGB light. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Now I've used Falcon Eyes before and uh, I actually like their uh, flex mat. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video before, I've made a video about it. Uh, but yeah, Falcon Eyes is definitely up there. And as you can see here, we now have the Falcon Eyes F7. And you're gonna notice that they're basically the F7, but combined and they're just foldable like that. It's literally just two F7s on top of each other like that. And as you can see, there's a little bit of protective film there that I can remove later on. This is really cool. It's literally just two F7s. Um, I actually really like the F7, like I showed you guys in my previous video. So when I found out that it had this right here, basically just two on top of each other, I had to check it out. So we got some manuals here. Okay. Comes with a carrying case, which is pretty sweet. All right, so that's, ooh, what the heck? Whoops, so it comes with a little hot shoe. Two cables. I really like these arms. These monitor arms are pretty well made. So that comes with that, which is pretty sweet. This looks like some kind of a shower head. So you can put in your head. That's nice, I like that, that's pretty sweet. And let's take a look at the other side. Oh, nice, it comes with grids for both of the uh, lights, which is really sweet, little honeycomb there. You got a couple of screws, Allen wrench, and little rubber ring there. And that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Move that to the side. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at this light real quick. It's really, it's pretty darn solid, in my opinion. It's nice, it's, it sounds nice, feels nice, it looks nice. Pretty excited about this. Um, probably one of the issues I can kind of foresee is probably these, these hinges here. I don't know how much you can open and close them, you know, so. We're gonna have to see that later. Let's see if we can power this on. Okay. This is pretty sweet here. All right, turn on the brightness. Literally, it looks and feels like the original F7, but there's just two of them. Now, I think this one doesn't have enough charge to it. Yeah, that top one is um, dead, but let's see, the CCT mode, we can go all the way to 9,000 and then all the way down to 2,500 Kelvin. Oh, that is really sweet. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and turn the light on and let's take a look at some quick features real quick that this light has. Now let's go to, all right, so the light has CCT mode, it has HSI mode, which the last light actually had, and it has scenes, which has 20 different scenes like it did before. So let's switch that over. You can change the brightness. You can change the speed on how much um, flicker you want or something like that, but there's 20 of them. And then it has RGB mode as well. Now for RGB mode, there's actually a cheat sheet out there that you can use to mimic different types and colors of lighting, which is very interesting because now I don't need the app. I can just do it all on the back of the light. That's really cool. And then we have Lee and Roscoe filters or gels, which is absolutely amazing for such a small light. Now what I'm gonna do is find the documentation as far as what these filters actually mean. I'll find that for you, but you can see there's a couple of Lee filters and there's also some Roscoe's as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and back it out a little bit so you can kind of see it changing. That 723 G220. Those are really cool built-in presets 
right on the light. Now the top is dead. I don't have any battery on the top light, so I'm just using the bottom, but it's pretty much the same light just on top. So this is kind of just like my first impression. Now, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and let me know if you want me to test something out, but I just wanted to go ahead and unbox this for you guys so you can take a look at it because this light is really new. A lot of people are really interested in this, and thank you for that person that told me about this light in my YouTube video. I really appreciate that because I was able to get it right away.